Hi guys, welcome to the world of Pierre. I'm Pierre and I'm back. So I've been away for a month now, I was moving uh, to a new place and, uh, and I kind of know what I want to do for 2018. So I had a lot of different topics, but I think I want to focus on two topics. One of the topic is content creation, which is uh, photography and videography. And the other one is gaming on iMacs or Apple products. These are two things I really like to do. And um, I think this is what I'm going to do this year. So my new setup is ready, nearly ready. You can see it behind me. So without any further ado, I would like to do part three of gaming on an iMac with the Radeon Pro 580. Let's start. So before I talk about benchmark, I want to talk about how Apple released drivers. So on my 2012 models, I had an NVIDIA graphics card and uh, NVIDIA would update drivers every week. And Apple, even if you were using Bootcamp and Windows 10 would allow you to update those drivers instantly. But now with AMD graphics card, Apple doesn't allow you to update the drivers you need to wait for bootcamp update. And these updates happen you know, every two or three months. So thank God there is a way around it. And I'll put uh, a link below. You can watch a video that explains how to update your driver. It's a bit complicated, but it works. And, uh, and then you can play games with a very smooth frame rate. So I finally managed to update my drivers and I could play Star Wars Battlefront 2. So I didn't want to buy the game uh, because all the microtransaction issues, um, but I was a bit weak. I went to see Star Wars and straight after I wanted to go buy a Star Wars game and I bought the game. But just like Battlefield 1, there was something kind of wrong with the drivers. Uh, it means that each time I launch the game, it defaults to 5K. So when I go full screen, I can't change the resolution. It doesn't really matter which resolution I use, it goes back to 5K. And in 5K, the game is around 20 frames per second. So I found a way if I want to play in 1440p, I have to change the resolution my desktop each time I want to play the game and then I can play in 1440p, which is a bit annoying. And in this resolution, the games run really well. I can hit 60 frames per second during the campaign mode. I haven't been able really to play the multiplayer mode. I guess you will get the same frame rate uh, because my internet connection here is pretty bad. By the way, I think it'll take me three hours or four hours to upload that video later on, but that's another story. Then I tried Dota 2. So I'm gonna be honest, I've never played Dota. Um, a person in one of my previous video commented and asked for me to review this game and, and show you how it works uh, with this uh, graphics card. And it actually works really well. I didn't have to tweak the setting. It went uh, straight to 5K in the highest options. I uh, simply unticked anti-aliasing because who need anti-aliasing in 5K really? I did the training mode and I got around um, 70 frames per second. I guess the frame rate will drop and there is plenty of action on screen, but I never got to that part in training mode. Anyway, 70 frames per second in 5K is pretty impressive. And if you're after some higher frame rates, you can still drop the resolution a little bit. So now, Outlast 2. Not only though this game is really scary, but it runs very well. The lighting in this game is gorgeous and the engine is very well optimized. I've been playing in 1440p, full option, and I usually get around 55 to 66 FPS, depending on you know, if I'm indoor or outdoor. By the way, I'm using the FPS counter from Steam uh, for all the stats that you see on screen. If you're a Resident Evil fan, I recommend you to pick up this game next time there is a Steam sale. You will feel frustrated at the beginning because you can't pick up any weapon and fight back, but eventually it will grow on you. And by the way, let me know if you would like me to do some uh, reviews of video games. I've been willing to do that for a while, so let me know. You never know. You might like it. Then I installed the latest Batman game, the uh, Batman Arkham Knight. And it's outstanding. The engine is really well optimized. And look at the details. Just for fun, I tried to play in 5K and I actually get 20 to 25 frames per second. I think this engine is a dream. So Cuphead is a gorgeous little game. It's a 2D game. I actually bought it a few months ago just because of the art style and, uh, and I've been really enjoying it. It's a 2D, so the 2D graphics are beautiful. And as you can imagine, it runs really well. It actually runs in 5K, you get 60 frames per second. And this game really reminds me of the games I used to play when I was a kid in the arcade. Uh, it's extremely difficult and you will spend your afternoon on it. 
So last but not least, Assassin's Creed Origin. I bought the game about two weeks ago and it's very addictive, it's beautiful, it's fun, it, it's full of side quests. After filming this video, I'm gonna go back and play it. For me, this game brings all the best bits from previous Assassin's Creed and also borrow a few good ideas from other games, like the crafting mechanics from Far Cry or the fighting mechanics from The Witcher 3. At the same time, it managed to retain what Assassin's Creed is about, uh, with the open world full of details, the parkour, and all the cool stealthy assassination. It is truly a masterpiece. In this one, you don't have a French character, uh, which is even better. So the graphics are beautiful, but it's not very well optimized. I had to play with all the settings to reach some you know, good frame rates. The following settings, I get around 60 frames per second in the desert, 50 frames in the mountains, and 45 frames in the cities. And these are with the new drivers installed. With the old drivers, I was getting only 35 frames per second in the CD. So very important for you. If you have already this machine, update the drivers and you will have a smoother experience. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you've seen part one and part two, you already know that this machine is very good for uh, gaming at 1440p on high or ultra and get around 60, 60 frames per second. Thumbs up if you liked the video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to reach a thousand this year. So, you know, you know what to do. And uh, I'll see you very, very soon. Bye-bye. Reach a thousand subscribers. <laughs>